Hello Mary, I wanted to put together a very very quick video showing something that I think might help you uh, splitting out your words. I just found this, I've never used it before, but it certainly looks like it could save you a lot of time. I don't have time for a real uh, video this afternoon, so I'm, I'm sorry about the roughness of this, but I wanted to walk you through this. So, um, it's using Audacity, but just to show what I would use this for, I went ahead and used the sound finder to find our colored vowels at the end of a word. Uh, you've seen this before, I created a uh, material, in this case, some picture and word cards. I'm going to go ahead and add these five uh, words, or record these five words, using Audacity. So, um, here's Audacity, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new uh, recording. Whoops, didn't need to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and, and make sure my mic is set to uh, well, make sure it's set to the, uh, oh, because I'm using it, bummer, because I'm using the, the, um, blue systems microphone for this recording, I can't use it in Audacity, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter how good this quality is. So I go ahead and record the, um, the words that I'm looking for all within one, uh, recording. So I'd go like this. Fire, ogre, water, paper. Obviously, you can see them here. Um, Fire, ogre, water, paper. So, the thing that I found was so interesting is a tool in here uh, where you can add uh, a label. To add a label. And you'll see that you can do it under the tracks menu option here. But you can also use the Control B uh, keystroke. So very quickly, I'm going to go in here, and I can see that this is the the first word, right? Fire. Right. So since I can see them well enough, I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight this. Right. That's the word that I want. I'm going to hit. I'm going to make sure I, I get the all the way through to the end. And I'm going to hit Control B and type fire. I, ha I am going to move this off to the side so I can see it here. Um, I'm going to highlight the next one. I'm going to say Ogre. Grab the next one and hit Water. And the last one is Paper. And each time I'm just hitting Control B to add those labels. Uh, and at this point, I can actually go in and say File, Export Multiple, okay? And I'll make a new test here called Mary Test. And you'll see that I can say Split the Files Based on Labels. And I don't want to include the audio before the first label. And I can choose my export format, Wave is fine, choose my options, uh, hit Export. And it'll, it'll let me um, add this information, but you'll see that the track title changes on each one of these. So I hit OK, OK, and it tells me, OK, I created those files. Now, if I go look under that Mary Test folder, I'll bring this down here. You'll see that I now have... Each of those is split out nicely. And one of the nice things about this is that if you want to, before you do the splitting, um, you can actually process all of them together. For example, you know, doing noise removal um, and, and um, echo, whatever else you want to do. That way they're all consistent. So I hope this helps. I know this is not my best video, uh, and I'm sorry it's a little jumpy. Uh, but I thought, given the complaints you're making on your blog, this might actually really help you. So, I hope so. Let me know. Bye.